eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool uzodwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Mzansi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzansi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Congratulations to each and every one of you for making it this far. You've entered the competition and your plates stood out from the crowd. Give yourselves a warm round of applause. Hey, my name is Luto Luke. I am 25 this year, just started um, studying again. I live with both my parents as well as my sister. I'm Takoza Koza. I'm from Pumalanga. I'm a hard worker. I'm also a go-getter. I'm Alistair John Bingham. Uh, I stay in the Klein Karu, which is always hot. I'm not a chef, but I, I love making food. My name is Bongo Mavimbela, all the way from Kabeja. My strengths are definitely salads. The healthy meals are my favorite. You're all here for a reason, and this is your chance to show Mzanzi what you've got. Mm -hmm. This week's hero ingredient is something spicy, something traditionally South African, uh, something we all grew up with. And to match up with the challenge, here's this week's five a day superstar, someone just as spicy. Hey, it's Lissy Zoe, your babes on my label, your headquarters, Sweary. I am a media personality, a reality show star, YouTuber, extraordinaire. Awe, Leland. Awe, awe. Yo. What Started happened six years ago that? making videos. Um, I would upload them on social media, and one day I went viral, and I rode with it. I am a huge fan of food, but I'm so picky with food. Uh, my go-to foods would definitely be your traditional food. Chicken feed, cow feed, anything that is animal feed, bring it to me. I hate, hate, hate beetroot. Do I have time to cook? Girl, I'm working 24 seven. You know, I need a man to make me a house husband and I'll have time to cook. Hi, my Siri! Thank you guys so much for having me. I am so excited to be here. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to cook. Is it going to be spherized or is it going to be spherized? <laughs> <laughs> Your hero ingredient for today is chakalaka. Now we all know and love chakalaka. Now traditionally, it's always served on the side of your vors or of your main dish. But the challenge today is to make chakalaka the star. Mm, well, if I had it my way, I would eat it just like that. However, it is a competition and I'm looking forward to the creativity and what you can come up with. For some inspiration, we have created a special dish using chakalaka as the main ingredient in a creative way. Here we have it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks so delicious. Oh my God. Chakalaka braised beef short rib, parmesan creamy pup. And then on top, you see some extra vegetables, green peppers, some carrots, and it's rounded off with some gremolata. This is tantalizing my taste buds. It's swearizering me. Yeah, that's, that's and that was that. only on the first bite. And what is great about this dish is that the use of vegetables is really great, you know, to create a balanced dish, the protein that is used there, as well as the starch, because this is also what we're looking for in those plates. That creamy, yummy bub with parmesan, I can just taste it. That's what we're looking for, to just elevate a traditional dish, just give it that next notch. Remember guys, we don't want you to serve chakalaka simply like that on the plate. We want you to get creative with it, use it as a hero ingredient in your dish. But there's a catch. Behind me is a fully stocked pantry with all the ingredients that you can dream of. There's some meat, dairy, some fresh vegetables and a lot of other pantry staples. You'll each have one and a half minutes in the pantry to gather all your ingredients. Once your time is up, the pantry will be off limits. And you only have one hour to color your plate. So think about it and plan carefully. All right, guys, are you ready? Ready? Yes, yes, yes. definitely. Bongi, are you ready for your pantry, Dad? I am ready. 
three, two, one, go! Girl. Faster, 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 faster. I'm 28 years old, currently doing electrical apprenticeship. You you need that shakalaka to be shakalaka ring, I please, am man. Chef. I am the Come chef on. Here. My love for cooking comes from my grandmother and my mother. We always argue about who's the best between my grandmother, my mother, and I. So I'm going to prove to them that I am the best. If my electrical career doesn't come right, I'm definitely becoming a chef. At a smaller age, I think I was 12. When there is no one at home, I used to steal some rice, some lot of stuff, and cook on myself and play with it. So it's why I, I found myself that, yes, I can cook. From there on, don't say, can you please cook for us just to impress the family? I have a lot of skills to show. So today, I want to let it shine. Time is moving. Let's go, AJ, let's go. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. The pantry's closed. Contestants, you've gathered your ingredients. You've devised your plans for your winning dish. You'll have one hour to prepare. Ready, steady, color those plates. More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzul Get those protein gains with Koo Baked Beans and color your plate. Koo, Uzotual. I'm quite excited about the challenge. I cook with chakalaka often. I know for a fact my dish is going to be great today. You know you get bunny chows? Well, I'm going to make a puppy chow. My love for cooking comes from my mother. She really enjoyed having me in the kitchen. So to the competition, I'll be bringing more of my mother's style of cooking, which is recipes that have been passed down through the family. So I'd like the judges to get a taste of how my family cooking has been over the years. Well, the dish that I'm going to make today is beef chakalaka burgers, and then mixed with veggies so that my plate can be colorful since it is cool color your plate. I'm going to make South African chakalaka with beef mince, also with the potato. Today I'm gonna make chicken fillets with chakalaka, the hero of the day, with some beans and rice. Hey, Ntavazo, how is it going here? Oh, it's going, it's going. Yeah, I believe you forgot one of your ingredients. Yeah. Which one is that? It was green paper and red paper. I left green paper, red paper, and the yellow paper. So what's your plan going forward? Oh, I decided to change my recipe and do another thing. I'm going to use the purple cabbage just to substitute. So tell me what you're making. I am making a chakalaka potato bake, but Ooh. I just realized that because I added a bit of tomato, I didn't get some sugar from the pantry. Think about other things that, that sweet that you are allowed to use. It's edible, it's edible. Alistair. Good day. How are you? I'm very good to me. Tell me a bit, what is your dish? Um, I had a pap mark in my own curry. But I'm going to make a pap like a quarter of a bunny chow. So I'm going to make the owner in the pap. And you're going to form the bakkie? Yeah. So it's in basis? Yeah. So I'm going to make the bunny in the pap. Okay. So it's a bunny chow, but just a pap chow. I love strong food, so I cook most of the time with chilies. But um, I would say my favorite food to cook is pap. My love for cooking comes from my mother. She is a great cook, or every child believes that of the mother. <laughs> I can basically cook almost anything, and if I can't, I'll just make it up. 
How are you? How is it going? Yeah, it's going fine. I see you have some chocolate like there. Which one are you using? I'm using the Hot and, the spicy. hot and spicy one. Yeah. Do you love chakalaka? Chakalaka always tastes nice. It's Great. Did you know that the oil in chakalaka is good for you? I should cook my grandmother some more chakalaka. Yes, when you I get can home. enjoy it. And the nice thing about it is that you don't even have to add a lot of oil when you're cooking with it. Wow. The chicken I'm gonna fry with peppers and some onions, and then I'm gonna later add the hot and spicy chakalaka. My faves! I see you went for the mild and spicy chakalaka. Like, pick a one. Mild, spicy, what are you? I would say I'm very spicy. Kind very of spicy. <laughs> Woo! Me and spicy foods. Hey, and I must taste this. Okay. I'm using mild chakalaka because I put some chilies in the dish that I'm going to make. So I didn't want it to overpower the dish and destroy the judges' taste buds. Contestants, your time is running out fast. You only have half an hour left of cooking time. You have to hurry up now, guys. 30 minutes in and I am stressing because I think I'm not gonna make it in time. It looks like Luto's better patties are not coming out nicely. They look too watery. Mm. I added too many eggs, so it was liquidy, so the burger was falling apart. Just look at what you've been bread, this whole thing. So you can add that. If you add some liquid to it, you mix it through it, it's gonna keep it together, okay? Great idea. I just got some advice that I should add breadcrumbs, which would make it less liquidy. So I added the breadcrumbs, and everything is falling into place. Mmm, great wafts of aroma coming out of this kitchen. Contestants, 20 minutes to go. So I have to plate a different way now. Potato bake is usually done with a cream sauce. By me using chakalaka, I'm hoping to bring the actual spiciness of the dish to the forefront. Luto Sweary! Hi. Girl, like there's 15 minutes left on the clock and your mushrooms are not done. Let me see your chakalaka. Which one are you doing this one? Mild and spicy. Mild and spicy. Hey, you guys are in spiciness. Why must a chakalaka be spicy, man? It has to have that kick. That, that, that kick. kick. Okay, and where is it? Where, where have you put it? I put it in the burgers. I've incorporated. In the burger? Yes. Are we having a chakalaka? Hey! So, me feel him, I don't know this one. Okay. You've got 10 minutes left, guys. And remember, you still have to plate your food. I hope you will have enough time to do it. Where's the time going? Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, one minute left on the clock. Okay, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Time is up. Time Step up. away from your plates, guys. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Color your plates with tasty Koo peaches that you can snack on any time of the day. Koo, Uzokwala. So the brief today, as we all know, is that the chakalaka must be the hero on the plate. And I see a lot of creativity going on out there. Yes, and what is great about chakalaka is that it already contains different veggies there. What I'm interested in is to see how the contestants have used that to their advantage. Yeah, and when I was walking around, hey, who busy, man? Nati, eh? But I'm using chakalaka patties, mild, and I'm I'm not a hot chakalaka fan, so I'm really excited to see what they've done with the chakalaka. So should we taste? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hungry. I think this is an A plus. I went above board, and I've got everything that I needed to do. I've made the judges a seven coloured meal. It's a bit of everything. The chakalaka is with the chicken and it's in the middle. Make the circle bigger with the chakalaka from <laughs> 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 Monks or electric chef. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shall we? Thank you, Bongi. Thank you, judges. Delivering my plate to Chef Ruben is nerve-wracking. Because he's the best now. He has to taste my food. I like how she spiced it. I'm battling with it. I think I wanted to see more creativity. Mm. It's chakalaka on a plate with a, a, just some green peppers and just about it. The question is, is it the food that I can have? Definitely. Mm. But it's just ordinary for me. You know, it's got all the colours going. 
But I mean, we know when you cook chicken, the chicken itself has got all that nice flavor in it. You can see that it's almost like steamed in, in the pan with the chakalaka. But the chicken hasn't developed the flavor, nothing. You know, this meal reminds me of what on the wall. She actually looked at the wall and she saw beetroot, she said beetroot, <laughs> beans, beans, rice, chicken. Yeah. And she said beetroot. Chicken. Yep. And she forgot creativity and adding her own flavor into the dish. Hey, AJ. Good day, judges. Hello. Hello. Ooh. I will rate my plate uh, eight. Uh, it's not exactly what I, I want to do, but I know it's still going to be great. I made a hearty winter bean and chakalaka curry. Thank you, judges. Thank, Thank you, you Alistair. I think Lissizwe is a spicy person, so I do think that he can handle it. It's not that hot, and you'll be able to take it. The pup is good. Mm. It's a little bit spicy. It has a little bit of a, you know, that, you know, it makes me want more and more and more. I think for me, if I was to plate this dish, I would just remove like two portions of pup because um, we don't see a five a day because of the lot of pup that is added to the plate. But also, I was just missing colour generally. I think the plan of taking the pup and creating that kind of bowl shape and then plating the curry inside there, I thought in theory was a good plan but it was never going to work. How do you make that in an hour's time to be able to do that? So this is what he then came up with. So we give him kudos for that. Mm. But I will go back to saying you need to create more flavor with the chicken. You know, you get that nice juices coming out of the chicken, going into the chakalaka, the potato. That's what we, uh, what mm. I'm missing here. I beg to differ. I think this was very nice. I, I enjoyed this. I really did. Even though you don't like the spiciness. No, I like the spice. It has that waza waza. You know, when you <laughs> eat it and you say, and you still go again, you. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's very tantalizing for me. Like Moorish. Yes. Well, it looks like we split down the middle on this one. Shall we try the next dish? Definitely. Of course. Oh. Fabulous. Hello, Ntokozo. Hello, I'm Ntokozo. Hey, how are you guys? Look at that. I was so nervous, but I was excited. So I was still when Zendoini I had chiming. Oh, Lani and me and the beef mince with also chakalaka, South African chakalaka, and the fake macarons on the chakalaka and also a cabbage just to bring it on. You can see it. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's just do this. I hope they're going to be impressed and they're going to love it because I'm not here just to play. I'm here just to improve myself and show them skills. It's working for me and I'll tell you what, I love it. It's opening the throat. Hot. Mm. 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 Um, oh, I thought you were extra spicy here when in life. Mm -mm. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> not like this. I need a glass of water. Mm -mm. And now it's got my tick. The extra hot, the, it's got the thing, the yeah. thing. What I'm missing there for me is the vibrance in this. I know he tried to supplement the chakalaka with red cabbage, but he oh. overcooked that red cabbage and we're now missing the nourishment from it. But overall, the plate is also just so muted, you know. There isn't too much color happening there that is coming you know, through. Funny enough, that potato with a bit of cumin is actually, it's a small little thing, but it does make a big difference in terms of the taste, doesn't mm, it? Absolutely. I, I really think he put his best foot forward. You know what, guys? <clears throat> I'm going to be back. <clears throat> I just need water. <laughs> we can get the next dish. <laughs> yeah, we... Hi, everyone. Hello, Tino. Hello. Hello. I made a chakalaka and cheese potato bake with a side salad of roasted corn and apple. What made you choose this option? I initially wanted to make a mashed potato with uh, chakalaka, but I decided to try something different. Thank you very much. We're going to get tasting. The mince is amazing. I can't taste the chakalaka, so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, there's a redeeming factor to her efforts. I mean, there's lots of creativity that's gone into to the plate itself, and, and there's color. Hello, Tandosam. Hello, Luto. Hello, Luto. Um, so here's my plate. I'm really hoping to impress the judges with my dish because I did put in some effort and I did try to make something that is different. So I've made for you guys a beef-infused chakalaka burger with a side of beetroot salad. Hmm, looks mm. great. You did struggle there in the beginning, but hey, you salvaged it. Nice one. Ah, thank you so much. I tried my best. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. 
Having Chef Ruben taste my food is really, really nerve-wracking, but I really hope he does like my dish because he does seem like a nice person. Mm. There's magic in this plate. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love the vibrancy of the colors, and uh, I, know, I know that, I mean, our chakalaka is the hero of the dish, and the way she cleverly infused it within a beef burger, but for me, this beetroot is, is working out with a touch of mayo, um, there's some spring onion in there, there's just a conviviality of tastes going on here, darling. I'm, I'm here for this meal, like, the color is just saying, wow! The meat is saying, wow, like I, I had doubts with the patty because when I was watching here, the patty was falling apart, but it came together so well. And I'm not a fan of beetroot. And today when I had it, I was like, wow, is this what I've been missing out on? So, yeah, this is real business, guys. It's colorful, it's beautiful, it's delicious. All the components on the plate simply work. It's in harmony. I love it. Yeah. The burger patty really tastes nice, you know. It's um, gorgeous. You get the flavours. Maybe I would like to taste more of the chakalaka in there, but I, I, I like the flavours as it is. Yeah, and, it's... and, you know, like a simple thing like toasting the bread. It makes a big difference, yeah. eh? Hey? And that adds to texture, the texture and flavour to the dish. I'm astonished. <laughs> Gravitated, that is me. Gravitated. Gravitated, yes. Uh... I'll use that next time. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed this dish, honestly. Yeah with Stan Pisha, so it would be very exciting and it's a great opportunity. I stay in a very small community to find work that is extremely hard, so it will really help me and my family a lot. So my mom and grandmother would never ever have to argue about who is the best between the two of us, who would prove that I am the best. I have a dream that one day I want to open my own restaurant or Shisanyama. So winning this competition will be a very successful moment in my life ever. Well, congratulations, contestants. You know, an hour is not a long time to be able to create magic in the kitchen, but you really pushed yourselves, so you should be proud of yourselves, yeah? Bong Yiwe, the electric chef. Your dish was so honest, the color was there, but the question is, did it create some spark? AJ, I get to your idea um a type of a bunny chow for us to make today. I have toch gedink that this is misschien een beetje te ambitieus, maar wat ik wel kan zeggen is, je hoener en hoe die chakalaka ingebracht het, het wel gewerkt, zo wel gedaan. What I loved about what you did with the chakalaka is bringing that red cabbage, that crunchiness, and as a vegetarian, you've given me another idea of how to do my chakalaka to give that pizzazz, that something. Tanil, unfortunately, your time ran out and your potatoes are just slightly undercooked. But there were some good flavors in there. Thank you. Luto, I hate, hate, hate beetroot with all my heart. But when I had it, I was like, okay, there's something there. Mm. When I had your patty, divine. You convinced me that beetroot <laughs> is the way. So <laughs> let's see how you do. Uh, thank you. At the end of the day, guys, this is still a competition and we have to pick a winner. We've made our decision. The is win. Over to you. And the winner is... <laughs> Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Luto. Congratulations for winning today's challenge. You walk away with a hamper worth more than 4,000 Rand, including Le Creuset kitchenware and Nutribullet and cool products. Plus, you have colored your plate to the finale, where you will compete against the other finalists for the grand prize of more than 50,000 Rand. so excited. I really didn't believe it when Lassizo announced my name. I was in disbelief but I'm so so excited because this was such a great opportunity. Even though I was very nervous at first but it was definitely worth it. Next time on Color Your Plates with Ku, five brand new and excited contestants battle it out to earn a spot in the grand finale. For many South Africans, beans and legumes form an important part of their diet. And joining the judging panel is African singing sensation Brendan Paper. 
the best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzo Another feel-good production.